going to talk music now because the Brit uh, Award nominations were announced last night. The Brits are going to take place February 16th, Earl's Court, from Capital Radio. Their entertainment presenter, Mr. Kevin Hughes, with Awful Lowdown. And you're a Brit veteran, Kevin. You've been to a few of these. Yeah, I've been to uh, four now. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll be covering it for Capital Backstage this year. So I went down to the O2 last night. The launch, we now know who's up for what. A good year for the Brits, babes. Uh, Florence and the Machine, who had a very good 2009. They're nominated for three, plus Pixie Lot, Lady Gargoyle's got two. Uh, nothing for Beyonce, even though she sold a lot of records last year, and nothing for Susan Boyle. She missed out. But is that is that a shock? Jackie was devastated. I mean, I'm more <laughs> pixie lot sort of guy myself, you know. I was but, not. but I just you, think Granny's by her albums. Why yeah. would she be in the Brits? Why would she be in the Brits? Why is there a sort of shock that, that you know there is no Susan Subo? I guess it's the whole thing. She's, I mean, she sold the biggest amount of albums last year in terms of the one single album sold the most. Uh, Michael Bublé was the third best-selling artist. He's got international mail. But I think it could be Subo's year next year, although the great rumour is that Lady Gaga, nominated for two, still wants to possibly get Susan on stage during her performance. That would be quite a Brits moment. Lady Gaga's going to win that, isn't she? Yeah, she's got to win that, yeah. It's been a great year for you. And also, Robbie's comeback has proved popular. Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's nominated for Best British Male, and he's also getting the outstanding contribution. I guess the big question is, will Take That finally join him on stage and perform with him on the big night? I doubt it, but it's a good story. Yeah, when is it ever going to happen? Yeah. We had that moment, didn't we, at the end of last yeah, year where they joined yeah. them fleetingly, but yeah. So we see also their uh, Best uh, Male uh, Solo, Calvin Harris, Dizzy Rascal, Mika, uh, Paolo Nantini is there as well, uh, along with Robbie. Do you have a, a favourite amongst those, Charlotte? Well, that would be a difficult category for me, actually, because I like quite a few of those. But I'd be interested to know, out of uh, the Breakthrough Acts, who do you reckon out of Breakthrough Acts is going to... Is it going to be JLS? I think, yeah, it's got to be JLS. Up for three. Um, good result for Simon Cowell. Three X Factor stars. Alexandra Burke, nominated for single. Leona's up for Best Female. But JLS, they were there last night. They were seriously happy in there big popular band, you know, if they don't win Best Breakthrough, I think there's a problem somewhere. And they've worked really hard, haven't they? Uh, they are yeah, so really popular, hard. I mean, they're popular beyond belief, so, so that would be good. Do we know actually the, the performance lineup yet? Yeah, it's looking quite good this year, so um, they're promising some special treats because it's the Brits' 30th birthday, so you can vote for your most memorable performance and your favourite album of the last 30 years. But Jay-Z's coming over, maybe Coldplay might do it, Alicia Keys should be coming over, uh, Lady Gaga, JLS, and Lily Allen is promising something special as well. Right, well, that, that, that's all excellent. The other shock horror news this morning is um, chocolate and, uh, and, and the, the demise, a lot of people feel it would be the demise of Cadbury, the takeover uh, by, by Kraft. Would this affect the music world in any way? Um, it could do, actually. I mean, how many stars need chocolate on their rider? As long as they don't, I was thinking, don't change the formula, don't change the recipe and everything will be okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, how many M&Ms will be taken out? Different What's your favourite chocolate one? Caramel, I've got yes. to say it's the caramel. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people are saying don't worry because Galaxy is, is still there. Um, it's not the same well. though, is it? I, I have actually bought this this morning, so we will sh be sharing this as a oh, sort of memorial chocolate bar. Because this is a good one that keeps everybody happy, isn't Spookily, it? It's it's the same colour as your blouse. Well, that's not that's sympathy or empathy or anything. <laughs> Um, as, as regards football, Jacqueline, you've got some latest news on the West Ham situation. Yes, We're talking um, about the Cadbury takeover, but West yes, Ham as we, well. Yeah, we understand that David Gold and David Sullivan, as we've been talking about this morning, have completed their takeover at West Ham. So they're the new owners, and we think that Karen Brady is going to be the vice chairman there. So uh, just as soon as we get it, we'll have more information on that. But that is the very latest on that West Ham takeover, which I think is probably pretty good news for West Ham fans. Yeah, um, Cadbury is now a Twitter, uh, what do you call it? A, a trending, trending topic. A trending topic topic here <laughs> and uh, the, the, the twi tweets are saying the only way to protest is to refuse to eat any more chocolate ever that's a pretty stupid idea that's let's, impossible. let's, let's not <laughs> do that Kevin <laughs> thanks for the Brits they're happening on February the 16th at uh, Earl's Court it's Colin Brazier with the live desk next keep it here on Sky News